What do you do with $22 million? That's the question of the hour. And were you going for that money? Were you looking for less? Uh, or is this, I mean, this seems to be the days of big raises. Yeah. Uh, so uh, tell me about that raise. Yeah, so we, we were um, in, when did we do it? Like a month ago, just over. Um, we were, we, we just traded back into profit, right? So the, the, okay. I mean, a classic SaaS, um, SaaS curve is hopefully the revenues double each year, the kind of give or take. And, and so you've got this kind of exponential revenue line, but some of that stuff, certainly in the B2B land where you're, you've got a lot of marketing expense and sales expense, um, you know, the costs kind of lead the revenues. Right. So you go this kind of hockey, skit, hockey stick of, of cash where you're dipping down into negativity. And then what, what happens, so you have this hockey stick there and then you get to this position where you break even. And, and then you have a decision, which is do we, um, Use, use organic growth? Do we, ca do we spend the money that we're making um, to grow organically, like Amazon kind of style? Or do we um, double down and, and raise again and do a classic kind of US model way where you raise a B and a C uh, and so on? Pour so the oil on the, 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 the More and more oil onto that <laughs> <That's> massive furnace. <laughs> uh, and that's why we don't hear those letters B and C right. in the UK, right? Yeah. We just don't hear that. But no. that's the classic US model where mm. you're in the valley and you need a big more chunk of chain to pour more oil on the fire. Yeah, so you, so you have things like um, double down on marketing, launch new products, build new products, get, move into new markets. You know, our head of sales in, in, the, in the UK went over to China uh, last month and came back, you know, fizzing. I mean, I've never seen her so kind of frothy about the opportunity uh, in China. I mean, it's a, d a difficult or challenging place to do business, but the scale of the place is just insane. And we don't have any really big customer, uh, competitors in China. You know, there's no, there's no global players coming out of China in our space. So, you know, opportunity, but that's not gonna come cheap. You can't just, you can't take 50K and just open an office in China, <laughs> expect it to ha work, right? So, so there's, all of these different things, um, and then and then we're seeing competition increase, and inc it, not necessarily by volume, but it's the leaders in the field are get you know raising money. They're getting more aggressive. They're trying to kind of outmarket outmarket us. We're we're in a, a couple of companies in the U.S. Some very big companies where we sit alongside a, a pseudo competitor, a competitor, that, a, a company that does something very similar to us, like um, o online engagement, like you know um, and. And they're, you know, they're trying to elbow us out and say, you know, we, we're going to, we, we've got this whole listening and an analytics piece as well. And it's like, well, you know, we need to defend ourselves against stuff like that. Um, and you need, you need resource to do it. So, so we, we raised in 2012, um, about $6 million uh, with, with a kind of a plan to double and double. And, and, and we did, we, we did that in 13 and we're on track in 14. And we just thought, okay, we've, we've achieved that goal. We've got back to break even do we kind of carry on trading and, and realistically expect to get bought out in the next 18 months? Or do we go for a, something slightly bigger and say that we're gonna, we're gonna go long term here. We're gonna think three to five years. We're gonna move, you know, go towards a, a, um, an IPO. If somebody comes along in the meantime and says, you know, we, we think it'd be a great strategic fit to acquire you and so on, that we obviously, you know, you look, listen to that. But, we decided let's let's grab the bull by the horns and let's take let, let's take responsibility for our own future and the way that we're going to do that is well we need more cash um so it's for infrastructure it's for more development and it's for international expansion and and maybe a bit of m a um so we've got a kind of a little uh, we've got defense on the balance sheet now but we've also got some ability to go out and um get a bit aggressive in the market how can anybody sign up, publish an event, and start selling tickets in a matter of minutes. We love the notion of people gathering. We really thought about uh, low friction. We want to be that cable TV of, of live experiences. We basically broke all the startup rules. It's fairly insane to go into a business venture with uh, your fiance. My advice uh, you know, to, to any 20-year-old or fledgling entrepreneur is to not listen to their parents. Do something really incredible.